has to be Brom. Brom is so, so good here. Uh, Gwen can fight back, of course, but Brom is so good into all of the champions that are being shown here. There's no other option. This is such a juicer here on Five Pick. Bro, are you a coach or something? <laughs> <laughs> Unemployed. <laughs> 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 All right. Razork does have a red buff to Razork's only blue. A jump in with an Imbus strike gets a bit of damage down. Dashing forward as well with the decoy, but won't be able to do too much more. Oh, yeah. We thought originally four was like a cutoff where in the pass at the halfway mark, four wins has got you in. There's Rock's looking for a stun here. Mercer can try and jump back to Ruby, who'll do exactly that. And then Flash Emperor's Revive will lock them away from it. Mercer very low, just surviving. They've moved that AD carry up just a little bit quick. You can see Jack Spectre here. Wonder is coming across. The eye just popped by Yankos and he's five more autos to open up that eye once again. Does have the smite. Only 21 on it though, so a better smite from Razork and Razork will secure it. The eye sitting there, Wonder trying to get away from this as he pops the needlework, but he's scooped back with the Emperor's Divide and Wonder will pay for. But uh, he threw the smite down, wasn't quite enough damage. Jack Spectra has found Rectus. Gonna go in with a lightning crash here, cleanses away the chain of corruption as well. Just trading HP bars there, but. Yanko's gonna meet up with Razork here. Realmorp coming in though as Humanoid looks for the chase. Locked down with a cease and desist. The cycle of clone though, knocking up Wonder. Not enough. The all out though will pull Wonder back underneath the tower. Two tower shots, not enough to kill him off. Evie will fall to Humanoid. Even yeah, out of it can do a lot of work. A little bit more expensive, but Razork was able to avoid it as Evie tries to get away here. Chain of Corruption will land, but no one really able to get onto the tower yet. The needle works though. The range the Fnatic can play is absolutely gargantuan as Humanoid tries to escape here and will be able to phase rush his way away. Ruby looking for the final soldier. It's a bit awkward right now. You don't really want your AD carry playing into Wonder because it sets up for the play that we saw in top lane. Rux though, look at the tower. Ooh, hang on a second. I mean, that was, that was very greedy, Rux. He's going to have to flash away. The dragon is up in two seconds' time, and now Fnatic will use their mid pro to try and walk down here. In fact, they're going to use the realm walk. Mercer a little bit out of position as Chase comes in with the cease and desist. Ruby's going to go in with the Empress Divide as well as Razzle is locked back with, 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 without the rest of his team. Razzle will fall, but so far it's a two for one in favor of Fnatic. Wonder now doing some damage, but Jack Spectre with Lightning Crash is building up those stacks. Pretty lickety split as he continues to wail away on Rux. Lightning after Lightning, not quite enough as Epi on the back line comes. Can't well, die at all, apparently, as he gets double kill. Jack Spectre still trading with Reckless and Rux in the 2v1. He might be able to win this one, but instead he jumps away. Quick Q coming out from Reckless means that another kill goes into Fnatic's back pocket, but we're back on the fight. The players heard us, they keep fighting. Season desist once again onto the back line. Ruby has been locked up and taken out by Razzle before the fight even really begins. Epi down as well, and Team Heretics have to retreat. Flashes away. Yankos now. Oh, is it going to be a good steal again? Or is he going to get caught out? Gets to the blast cone. Razzle looks for the cease and desist, but now Razzle's in the midst of all of Team Heretics. Jack Spectre with the lightning crash, putting the damage down. The unbreakable blocks any route for Fnatic to get into the fight, and, and Wonder has to TP in. But Wonder can get the inhibitor tower before the TP does even he have comes to TP in. in. I mean, eventually you have to feel that perhaps he may be. Well, I don't know if he does. I think okay. that they can just play the patient game here. You can see Wonder is just waiting. No, now he the feels TP. the pressure. Okay, 5,000 HP on the Baron Heretics trying to call Fnatic this. to the Fight. Looking for the engage, Baron secured, Yankos gets it, but now the fight really begins afterwards. Cease and desist from Razzle will take out one Yankos with the Cyclone as well. Evie trying to get across the wall, but the Rail Warp will chase them. Evie and Mercer, where well, Evie's already fallen, Ruby was able to escape with his, uh, his empowered recall from the Baron. Mercer's not going to have the same luxury as he is chased down. So you, you get a Baron on one, you, you lose your inhibitor tower. That's uh... I do not think that was worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Heretics were so tunneled on this Baron. Yes. Right. So I just with the way the Fnatic and Heretics splits have gone, I didn't want to put the impetus on them winning another game after this one. <laughs> okay. Wow. It has been a struggle at times. Throw under the bus like that. I mean, that, this game has been a lot better than Fnatic, though, as I say that. Razzle. Do. So you end up in this pro play state where you end up training lanes. Ebby can oh flash in. Like us a little bit over there. Extended has the chain of corruption though, so Heretics won't want to chase this one any That's further. MVT beat in as well. Rubies is up in five seconds. The bot wave is in a good spot for Heretics. And now they're looking fine. to have him group up with the team. The TP flank coming in from the Gwen. Season to sit onto Jack Spectre. Now Jack Spectre takes Razork the long way around. Lightning Crash coming down as well. Jack Spectre and Razork fighting off towards the top side, but Wonder with that flank is in the perfect position to isolate the AD carry. Jack Spectre tries to dash back across and does manage to make it to his team. He's somehow still alive. He cleanses, he dashes, he dances away. And Jack Spectre survived for long enough for Heretics to win out the fight. That was gorgeous from the Heretics AD carry. But Heretics actually won that fight. 
Okay, these later assignments are good. Ebby's bot. He has his TP. He's pushed the wave all the way in. Oh, Yanko's off HP. Does. Vazos though, locked up in his Q animation. Cycling coming flash. in as well, tries to go in with the season to assist, but it's not enough. The stopwatch from Yankos stops the- Wonder was pushing out top lane, Ebby though, win. looking for a fight with Wonder. Do you Wet win this? So, okay. I'm just gonna assume- you, He's got force of nature, so he can run away really quickly after Humanoid puts some damage down. Six stacks, oh, there no, it goes in with the all out. Humanoid. No way, can Kassanti just do this? The guy's level eight. Okay, no, he can't. Forest like, did oh, help. The Baron steal is possible already. Oh, no, no, it's no not. Razzle is dead. It's okay. Oh, Heretics get the Baron in exchange. For I think the answer is yes. Does the season this happen in the mid lane as well? Yes. Wait, is he just gonna, gonna die? He just goes into the GA. There's no one here to defend him. Heretics sent everyone back to try and deal with Wonder. And it's a trade of shutdowns two for one. The Ebby's TPing in. Let's go. Okay, let's not. He's Shade ghosting. He's ghosting for it. Massa flashes, reckless flashes. So, I mean, I guess it ends up being an even trade overall, but Heretics walk away with the dragon. Oh, in well, any case, well, Ebby's now in danger. No ghost, because remember, he used it earlier, trying to get away from this, but already he's chunked down to half HP. All out going in as well. Jack Spectre going in with the lightning crash. Some damage with the Emperor's Divide as well. Ruby tries to get on the back line. Wonder now trying to do what he can, but he's already fallen. Ruby goes down as well, but Rux and Razork are bleeding, ticking away. Yankos dives in. There's another as Rox goes down. Now Humanoid, the next target, and he will fall too. Razzle trying to escape, but Yanko's not gonna let him. In the end, only Reckless stands. The final fanatic hope you feel here. He charges up an arrow. He can't kill off Jack Spectra. He tries to get away from Yankos, but he will not escape today. The shutdown to Yankos. Vision Denial, the name of the game. Baron started by Heretics, already down to 6,000 HP. Razzle trying to get in the pit. Is he gonna steal it? Oh! Ruby takes it instead. Razzle sees and desists. Jack Spectra, but he's not really gonna be able to do too much. And then Bruce Abide on the back line as Ebby distracts three members of Fnatic. Jack Spectra on a killing spree as Razzle will fall. Ebby in the midst of four is unkillable, unstoppable. Cassante delivering presence to Team Heretics. Call him Cassanta because he is delivering the win. Heretics with another massive team fight, and they just play the fight beautifully. I thought the Wonder was going to decimate Heretics on the back line, but a good ultimate once again from Ruby stops him from getting onto the back line, and it secures the team fight win for Heretics. They're looking to go three and three. They're looking to bring back this game and secure a massive win over Fnatic. What a win it would be. Gets them out of that danger zone on their way to the group stage. Fnatic, though. After an early lead, still trying to hang on to some sort of hope. They do still have strong carries. Rise and Gwen at this stage in the game are nothing to be trifled with. The chain of corruption coming out. But Fnatic's Nexus towers are under siege and they have fallen. Wonder pops the stopwatch, but pop goes the Nexus. Team Heretics claim the victory. What a chaotic game from both sides. But at the end of the day, Heretics, they stay true to their win condition. Jack Spectra needs to be given so much credit for that win. His individual play off the back of that single target focus that came down in the river was monumental in swinging the game back in Heretic's favor. The fact that they were able to win that fight, they were able to stabilize the game, was so crucial for them to buy a little bit more time and then turn the game into a win. Well played by Heretics. I think that it was good to see a strong early game from Fnatic. Yep. I, I was pleasantly surprised with what they were able to do. We got to see Humanoid unlocked on the map just a little bit. Towards that group stage, Fnatic have Mad Lions, Astralis and SK, so an easy route for them. SK at the moment on a tear.